Imagine this for a second. You're running a biotech company. You've got this absolutely game-changing technology, but you're stuck on a path that's going to take decades and billions of dollars with zero guarantee of a payoff at the end. So what do you do? You pivot. And you pivot hard. This is the story of Dyadic, a company making a massive, high-stakes bet, shifting from that slow burn of drug development to the fast track of commercial success. A marriage made in heaven. That's how Dyadic's own management describes their new strategy. Now, that's a bold claim, right? But it gets right to the heart of their whole plan. They've realized they don't have to do it all by themselves. Their success now, it all hinges on finding the perfect partners to get their products to market and to do it fast. And really, this is the fundamental choice that every company like Dyadic has to face. On one hand, you've got the long, super expensive, but maybe world-changing road of creating new drugs. On the other hand, you have the fast track, taking your tech and applying it to markets that can make you money today. It's that classic battle between a huge long-term ambition and simple short-term survival. Okay, so let's dive into our first section, a company reinvents itself. As you probably guessed, Dyadic chose the fast track. But look, this wasn't just some small shift in focus. This was a complete reinvention from top to bottom. They went from a research-focused lab to a business that is absolutely obsessed with one thing, getting products out the door. This timeline really tells the story. They started way back in 79 in industrial stuff, then made a big jump to pharma in 2015. But the real, real turning point was 2023. They had their technology successfully validated in a COVID vaccine trial. Now, you'd think most companies would double down on that, right? Go all in on pharma. Dyadic did the exact opposite. They saw that success as proof that they could win even faster in other areas. And that's what sparked this massive pivot. So how on earth can a company pivot that aggressively? Well, it's all because of their secret weapon, a core technology that's just uniquely powerful. Let's unpack what it actually is. The best way to think about Dietics technology is to imagine tiny microscopic factories. Seriously, they've engineered a special fungal system, this tiny living workhorse that they can basically program to produce almost any valuable protein or enzyme you can dream up. And it does it with just incredible speed and efficiency. This is the engine that's driving their entire business. And what's really brilliant is they have this two-pronged approach with two different platforms. On one side, you have C1. That's the original powerhouse built to meet the super strict standards of the pharmaceutical world. Then you have Dapabis. Think of it as C1's agile, cost-effective sibling. It's built specifically for those non-pharma markets. This strategy lets them play in both sandboxes. They can chase that huge pharma prize long-term while making real money right now. And here's the kicker. Both of these platforms share four huge advantages. They're faster, we're talking stable cell lines in just three weeks. They have a higher yield, so they pump out more protein more efficiently. Naturally, that leads to lower cost. And this is a big one. They are completely animal-free, which taps into a massive and growing demand for sustainable tech. In short, they can make things better, faster, and cheaper. That's a powerful combo. All right, so the technology is obviously impressive, but a great platform is pretty useless if you don't have a product to sell, right? So how is Dyadic turning all this amazing science into actual, real-world solutions that bring in revenue? Well, instead of that one single, narrow pharma lane, Dyadic is now going after three massive, multi-billion dollar markets at once. They're targeting life sciences, food and nutrition, you know, things like animal-free dairy, and other bio-industrial applications. These aren't just big markets. These are markets where they can get products sold and start generating revenue much, much faster. And they are already making moves. Remember that marriage made in heaven quote? Well, these partnerships are exactly what they were talking about. They're working with Proliant in Life Sciences, a company called Enzymes on Dairy Enzymes for Food, and Firmbox Bio on an enzyme that can turn waste into sugar. This is their whole strategy in action, turning technology into real products with great partners. Okay, next section, the financial turnaround. The strategy is smart. The tech is powerful. But... Does it actually make money? It's time to see if the numbers really back up this story. And here it is. This chart right here is the first clear sign that this whole pivot is actually working. Just look at that revenue jump from the second quarter of 2024 to the second quarter of 2025. That huge spike is being driven by new payments from those partners we just talked about. The strategy isn't just a theory anymore. It's actually generating cold, hard cash. 
to put a number on it. That's a 150.5% increase in revenue year over year. That isn't just growth. For them, that's validation. But growing your revenue is only half the battle, right? At the same time, Dyadic was also getting way more efficient. They managed to shrink their net loss by nearly 13%. So they weren't just earning more, they were spending a whole lot smarter. And to pour some gasoline on this fire, they've just secured $5.3 million in new capital. This isn't just money to keep the lights on. This is fuel to accelerate their whole plan, build out their sales team, and get even more products to market. So the early results are pretty impressive, but this journey is far from over. What's next for Dyadic and what major obstacles are still standing in their way? Let's talk about the road ahead. Well, management has put a flag firmly in the ground. The goal? Become cash flow positive by the end of 2026. For a company in this space, that's kind of the holy grail. It's that moment when your business can finally fund itself without having to constantly rely on outside investors. It's a huge milestone. But let's be real. This is a high-stakes pivot, and that means high risk. To get the full picture, we have to look at the challenges that could still derail this incredible story. And there are three main hurdles to watch out for. First, they're facing some challenges with their NASDAQ listing. They have to meet minimum share price and market value rules. Second, a lot of their early revenue is coming from just a few key partners, and that's always a risk. And finally, let's not forget, they are competing in a space with some very large, very well-funded companies. Which brings us right back to the central question. We've seen the powerful tech, the really smart strategy, and some incredible early results. We've also seen the risks that lie ahead. So is Dyadic's big pivot a strategic masterstroke, or is it just a brave bet against the odds? The final chapter of the story still needs to be written, but man, it is one fascinating transformation to watch 